No, I think that that was our intention. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, Saki Naka is an amazing area. We are striving to make it the best. We are striving to be on an international level, uh, wherever we are in Bombay. So I think that's part of our goal. Thank you. Because uh, uh, one of India's top moves in real Uh, it's not an easy balance to keep and uh, we have strived really hard right from the beginning whenever we design something, when we think of something, we go back to our culture and I think that's something very important. Uh, Indian luxury, sustainability, art is all part of our Indian culture and uh, I've been fortunate to have been raised in these uh, principles. So they overlap a lot and uh, each one impacts the other and it makes it bigger and better. So we're, you know, we, we keep trying to do more and more uh, and we keep trying to do better and better. We think this is something that needs to be in the front of real estate. Uh, especially Indian real estate, we have to have our own identity and to be able to do that, we have to see what our culture does and gives us. So uh, we're keeping all three in line and we keep going further in each one while trying to be the best. So one is very form driven which is very technical uh, so it means that you have to have a lot of things for sustainability uh, you know there are a lot of restrictions in many ways the type of glass we use the type of materials we use all those things are limiting so to be able to make them look aesthetic to be able to give it a design that's pleasing to the eye is very important so that's where the first challenge really comes in the second of course is in terms of cost uh, you know the, the the standard mentality is that being green being more uh, aesthetically pleasing and having art is always more expensive which isn't really the biggest case, we're trying to bust those myths uh, by giving some of the best designs and thinking in a way that our ancestors did, you know, cross ventilation, natural light and giving the best building materials that are all sourced locally. So a lot of time goes into thinking and planning and then the execution, which is not something that we are now used to. So that's where the challenges really arise and uh, I think we're really doing a good job of doing better and better at that. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned, uh, there are four, five uh, important criteria. One is the energy. Uh, how does the building do on energy? Second is water usage. Third is waste, because today, as you're aware, waste is a very important topic for India. The fourth is called human experience, which is all about the indoor air quality. And the fifth is called carbon footprint, which is, let's say, an employee in the office, how do they travel from home to office? Are they pulling their cars? Are they taking metros? Because if they come in a private car, they are doing a lot of footprint, right? So th those are the five pillars of uh, LEED which we use to certify projects. Have I answered the question? So, I mean, from the other people, other organizations who probably have been shortlisted, so what really set what is the one, one major thing that set apart? So, uh, one is Rice Karan. What they have done is they have actually converted a, a 15 year old property, uh, an existing building, they have retrofitted to go lead ladder, which is, which is extremely rigorous, extremely tough. Because it is easy to go for lead for a new building, a new design building. But to retrofit an existing building to go lead platinum is something wonderful. Point number two, let's not forget that this wonderful property is in the heart of Mumbai because today many of the other things which we have done are all in the outskirts where they have 
enough uh, uh, you know resources to play around but to be in the heart of uh, uh, you know mumbai and do it is incredible the third important thing is they have used data because you know as i mentioned we have lost something called a lead technology platform so this building has used data to become certified which means they have adopted a transparent approach it is not about documentation it's not about paper it is about real data and that data they can monitor it daily as well